Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl, Fanny Lungu, back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Welcome to both our new subscribers and our retaining subscribers. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for always liking and subscribing. You guys are the best. Please continue subscribing, liking, sharing our content so that as many people see our stuff out there uh, if there's something that you guys want us to react to drop the link down below and we'll be more than glad to react to it you can also find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse just feel free to say hi if you want to become friends if you've got something interesting to tell us um just to interact or suggest something there if you're too shy to suggest it down below so drop your links be it on social media be it i mean instagram facebook or our youtube channel so today I'm going to be reacting to how much power the Quran has to save a person's life amid that. My favorite. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Mr. Didat, I'd like to say to you that the Christian had no power to heal the sick. We don't do no healing. If we could do healing, we will empty RK Khan's hospital. And if we could do healing, we will empty every hospital in the world. We don't do the healing. Only Jesus does the healing through us. And I want to say something not relating to the topic. I'd like to ask the chairman if I could. No, you, you, you were allowed to ask, ask questions at this stage. Nothing is said. It's great to make it. Matters two holidays and daily. Well, I won't be long. I just want to make one statement. You keep us here for the entire night. Perhaps a day not even half a minute. I'm sure Mr. Dirat would like to hear what I'm going to say. Mr. Yes, Dirat? Sir. You may ask questions, not make statements. I'm afraid I'd have to ask you to leave. Unless you want to put a statement in the form of a question, that I'd accept. Would you like to phrase your statement in the form of a question? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to ask him a question. Please. How much of power does the Quran has to save a person's life, give him a joy and a reason for living like the Bible? And just one more thing before you answer me, Mr. Dilat. The Quran has no power on earth to change a person's life. And hear me out. It is a dead book. It is unreachable, unidentified. I think you've lost the question. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Dilat, and hope it sinks into your spirit. Thank you. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Silence, please. Silence, please. You see, this is the proof. This is the proof. This is not unique to this hall. I delivered the same talk in Johannesburg and there were droves and droves of Christians, missionaries. And we allowed them one full hour for question. And there was not one question on what I had said. There is no Christian born who can contradict anything that I said tonight. There isn't one born. Irrefutable evidence I have given you. Now you have to come and tell me that this chiru was a flying saucer or it was a, a helicopter. Tell me, tell us, tell these people here. No, there isn't. This is what happens. Allah describes it to us in the Holy Quran. When truth is hurled against falsehood, it knocks out its brains. No questions. I tell you again, there's not, there are no questions. Now this, this is a lesson for the Muslims. That look, Allah has given you that power. I tell you there isn't a Christian born who can answer what we have presented tonight. That this is not befitting the majesty of God, the language, the stories. I, I haven't come out with the whole. I just put them aside. I said, look, man, I'd rather give you a chance in case you said, look, this guy spoke for two hours and he's not giving us any chance. There's hardly any question. Look at this. They droves and droves in Cape Town, droves and droves, and they set the words in the, through the grapevine. Don't go and ask me that questions. You're going to make a fool of yourself. So they don't want to come forward. So you make charges. What has the Quran done? So look, Islam through the Quran, through this one verse, it eliminated four major evils. One verse. I quote, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu Say, oh you who believe 
innamal hamru most certainly intoxicants wal maisiru and gambling wal ansabu and fortune telling wal aslamu and idol worship rizqun min amri shaitan are an abomination of satan's handiwork fajtanibuhu la'allakum tuflihun when this verse was revealed wine barrels were emptied in the streets of medina never to be refilled the most perfect complete and lasting revolution in the history of mankind one verse and the evil was abolished for good no more idol worship no more uh, fortune telling no more alcohol this one verse created the biggest society of tea totalers in the world the muslims are the biggest society of people who don't imbibe alcohol look this one verse did it what are you talking about dead book this book with all your miracles with all your miracles ask swagat now with all his miracles you worship him i know the my indian christian brother <laughs> the lies that he has been speaking jim baker the lies government the lies can't you see black big black what are you talking about look in south africa alcoholic consumption statistics statistics they tell us that the muslim is the lowest alcoholic consumption in the country these are your statistics they have no statistics for africans they have no statistics for indians but they say the colored community five times the amount of alcoholics as any other race in the country five times the amount the malay is a colored is a muslim culture. the muslim malay the lowest in the country the christian colored five times the amount of any other race in the country this is what your book has done i said 8% of the white people who read this book incest 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 are committing creating and committing incest 13% of the american people are committing incest what are you talking about changing your life i want to know what life it has changed what is this come forward look i said that what i have presented to you i have presented a case to you i said look this is not befitting god this is not the word of god contradictions abound you say one or none 36000 difference 440 jesus come on man come on and you don't need to know you read the book of the king chapter 16 verse 25 read it No, you don't know the book. He said, "Not talking about the Bible." He doesn't read the Bible. He's a newborn Christian. He's a new Christian. He doesn't read the Bible. Jesus saved him, and it heals people. What is this? I have spoken for an hour and a half. Were you listening? Was my English too hard on your ears? What is it? What has happened to you? No, the Quran gave the answer. Brains is knocked out. Come forward. Let's see these brothers here. If you have any question on the subject, come. Welcome. Since like the video is just blank from here, I guess I can talk. Um, I I honestly love this man. It's funny how someone can listen to someone speak and still misunderstand. Sometimes we people already have answers to certain things that even when someone drops James on us, James of knowledge. bulk of knowledge whatever kind of knowledge on us we're just not ready to listen as long as i made up my mind and said i will not listen to uh did that i won't listen to anything that he has to he had he has had to say in his um these gatherings we need to stop being such type of people if we want to grow and actually learn someone can have some good good knowledge he's given good examples he's the one answering you he's the one giving you these statistics of how um lives of a certain group are but you still went to stand up and say it's a dead book it's that's one say mm. we should learn not to go with answers let's learn to go somewhere with um open minds that's only that's only where we're going to digest the information we're getting and actually think about it and see how 
life goes from there or how your thoughts are changed inspired if they're still not inspired even though you went with a clear mind then i mean life goes on let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video